Present BBC Sunrise are in town. So you, you do a little bit for them uh, when Carlos are with them, David. Yeah, I try to. Yeah, when I can. Um, you know, in and around my own football commitments, um, so I'm not playing. Them. I try and get there as often as I can because yeah, I really enjoy it. Right, let's talk about today. I thought it was a good hard cup tie. Do you agree with that? It was, yeah. It was a good solid scrap on it. It was a game of sorted two halves, so all cliche I thought. We'd a better side, you know, edged it first half and we used by far the better time uh, side second half. Uh, so we, we, we'll take the draw really because all things considered, boys playing with injuries, boys come back from COVID and stuff like that, we'll take it's not a bad result for us. And of course, FA Cup brings back great memories from last season for you. Yeah, it does. I mean, we were talking about it, you know, before you mentioned it, because it does bring a group together when you go on a bit of a cup run. Um, the eyes are on you, uh, so it was really good for us as a club. Obviously, the league was gone; it was completely finished, and it just kept us going and something to play for. Um, so yeah, we've got fond memories. Yeah. Uh, at 36, David, I hope you don't mind me mentioning it, but you, you're probably the oldest player out there. Are you looking ahead to when you're playing Desi over and, and staying in the game with, with the coaching team? Absolutely, yeah. I've been. I mean, I'm coaching now. A license now, so. I've uh, been for, for years and years, so I, d I didn't expect to play on this long, I've been perfectly honest and I just get, get to the end of the season, do you want to carry on? Or, yeah, okay, I'll carry on, so yeah, I'm always looking to get into the coaching side of it, the management side. Yeah. Can I just ask you, you, most of your career, the most games you've, you've played in your career, were at Carlisle, you have some fond memories of Brunton Park at the time at the club? Oh, I loved it, yeah. There's two places I love in, uh, in my career, one of them was Carlisle and one was up in Inverness in Scotland, so Fun, fun memories, loved it, loved the people, loved the place, loved the club, great. And, and you, you've obviously, you, you work with, with James alongside in the, in the comment position now. Yeah, a man's a legend, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> juggling three things at once, he's, yeah, yeah, brilliant to work alongside, so hopefully you get a get chance to do a lot more, yeah. And of course, if your coaching doesn't, <coughs> doesn't, doesn't develop, but if it does, you've still got the opportunity to, to do with, with, the, well, with your microphone, you know, Yeah, this, uh, try and keep my options open, you know, because all I've ever done is play football, so you get to the exactly. transition phase and you you're working out what way you're going to go, you've got you know the rest of your life to live and work, it's, um, you've got to keep your options open and that's what I'm doing. What do you, what do, you do during the week? Before, you know, apart from so I run a football academy full time, I've been, got two sites, one in Manchester, one, one in Ellesmere College, uh, so yeah I'm coaching, running that, uh, which is really good, uh, so yeah. Final question, back, back to today. Um, it, I've said it sets up a nightmare scenario where we play three times in a week, I mean do you, do you agree with that or not? Yeah, that's it. I would have liked to have finished it today because we've got obviously the league game up here again next week. You guys have got to come down to us on a Tuesday night. Boys are back up at work on a Wednesday. It's not ideal. Um, so yeah, you know, let's finish it off. If, if you have to go to extra time, fine, but I, I'd quite like to have finished it off today. David, nice to see you. Nice to talk to you. All the very best. Thank you very much. After Tuesday next time.